Hello and welcome to episode 16 of the Cyber Security Happy Hour podcast. I am your host, Christy, and a happy new year to you. This is our first podcast for 2021, and the topic for today's podcast is five safety tips for shopping online. I'd like to remind you that this is a cyber and information security podcast, so do not forget to protect your data in transit and maintain your privacy by using our affiliate link for NordVPN. So get NordVPN by going to the site, NordVPN. Actually, all the info is in our show notes. However, the important bit is to use the coupon code INTECHCYBER. I repeat, INTECHCYBER. Now, what do you get for using this code? You can get 70% off a free year plan plus one month free. So you get 70% off a free year plan and you get one one month free of a NordVPN. Now, because of numerous lockdowns that has continued into 2021, let's say here in the UK, present time in January, at the time of this podcast, we are in lockdown. And what that means is only essential shops are open. So retail, usually retail, pharmacies, etc. Prior to 2021, of course, shopping has moved from brick and mortar to online shopping. And as a result of this, of course, cybercrime has increased. So there might be a national lockdown or uh, an international lockdown in other countries as well. But of course, the cyber criminal do not sleep. Now, especially as I said, now majority of the shopping these days are online. And there are many advantages um, of obviously people choosing to shop online. One of the advantages is one, you don't have to queue. If you, you know, you don't have to queue outside. Two, you don't have to wear a mask if you're doing online shopping. So you do it from the comfort of your own home. Three, you can, you don't have to carry it, especially if you live far from the shopping center so you can just order it and you can choose a delivery time and hey presto uh, your delivery arrives at the appointed time if you do not like the product you can also return it quite easily okay so it's easy to return it either you can decide to take it to a shop or they can come and pick it up from your home so it's much more convenient and easy to shop online Especially, as I said, during this time of COVID and lockdowns and where people are concerned about their well-being and health. So, yes, online shopping is on the increase. Okay, so let's start with tip one for uh, a safe online shopping experience. So you go into the website using your web browser, you know, on your phone, your mobile device or your laptop. So the first thing is once you've entered the address on the address bar, you have to look to make sure that your details are secure. And when I'm being secure, I'm talking about your details going to be encrypted from the source to destination from the client to server. And what you're looking out for is the green lock. So if you look at this, there's a lock or padlock, make sure there's a padlock and also uh, after the padlock, you're going to look for something called uh, in a high HTTPS, HTTPS. So once you've seen that at the address bar, it comes automatically. Then you know, okay, then my data is going to be encrypted. And what does it mean? It means that your communication from the browser, what data you're going to enter? You're, you're going to enter your personal details, name, address, for example. You're going to enter your credit card details as well, debit card details. And then all that information is encrypted. So some cannot snoop and capture that information. So that's the first tip. Look out for the, for the lock and also look out for the HTTPS. Okay. Make sure the address starts with HTTPS. Now, this is almost standard today. So when I say HTTPS, it's almost standard uh, on most uh, sites. Now, if you go to a website and it hasn't got the HTTP, it's got, it's got only HTTP and the S is, is missing, 
that means it's not secure. So what's your options? Uh, well, of course, if you want your data to be secure, I think uh, you may have to choose an alternate site. Uh, go somewhere else to shop. Uh, because there's a likelihood or chance that if your data is not uh, encrypted, then, well, someone can sniff it and capture it. Tip two comes and you've logged onto the site and you've chosen a, a product and you want to pay. What options do you have? Okay, you have, you can choose to pay by debit card, credit card or PayPal. Okay, all of them do have advantages, but one area to consider is possibly using PayPal. So if you use PayPal, then, it, you know, your details are there. You don't have to enter the, your details again in every shop. You know, some, some do not have PayPal, but most of them do. But just consider uh, your payment method. You want something that's secure. And of course, using a credit card, for example, you do have some security. You're covered under the Section 75 of the Consumer Credit Act. So that's one advantage. Then so you've got PayPal as well. So choose, I mean, choosing what, uh, choosing your uh, method of payment. So consider which is the best for you. I, can't, I don't want to say use a credit card because not everybody likes credit or examine which is the best online shopping card you might use or you might use uh, some of these fintech so you can easily track it tip number three and i've mentioned this uh on previous past uh podcast episodes it is create strong passwords okay so if you're going to be logging into this site not just strong passwords just use one password for that particular site so if let's say you're using amazon so you just you should be unique and it should be what complex okay Use unique and complex parts. So what I mean here is do not use the same password you use for Amazon. I'm going to use for eBay, etc. If you decide to shop on, on eBay, just kind of make them unique and make them strong. Now, I know what you're going to say. Oh, Christy, I can't remember all those passwords. Okay, so if you cannot remember the passwords and you have to write it down, which is a no-no, then consider... So consider using a password manager. I'm not going to recommend one. So just going to, you know, um, choose a, a, a password manager. Go and do that research. And so, you, so the password manager then will choose a strong password for you. You can choose a complex password uh, for you. And then, of course, it will, keep, it will help you to track and keep track of uh, those credentials, especially when you go to those sites, especially the sites that you go to frequently for do your shopping. So you don't have to remember it. So, which is true. It is a good argument. I can't remember. I've, you know, I've, I, I shop at five to 10 shot sites. How do you expect me to remember that? Okay. So in order to avoid writing it down, uh, we're using passwords and then consider using a password manager. That's tip number three. Tip number four. Hmm. I would say always be always verify the product when i mean the product look at the price so let's say you you you've gone to this website especially a website you haven't been before and you're purchasing an item okay you know you do a search and it comes up let's say i'm going to say let's say uh it could be a designer product or it could be something that's unique or it could be an everyday product and let's say the typical price uh the cost of that product is a hundred pounds uh and then it's showing 20 pounds, then you've got to think, oh, hang on a minute, what's happening here? This is just too good to be true. So of course, I'm not saying this, so just take your time and kind of don't just rush and pay for it, okay? Because uh, if you do, uh, well, you might not get nothing in the polls, so you might pay for that and you're possibly sitting there waiting and uh, you may get an empty box or nothing, okay? So of course, just, just be cautious. Okay, of the, the perch the products or the items you're purchasing to make sure that are they do exist. Because uh, we have instances of people going to different websites or sometimes even legitimate websites as well. Don't forget they have third parties selling all these large websites, for example, like Amazon. Okay, people always think that Amazon send all the products. No, they have small independent businesses selling on Amazon and uh, if the product looks too good to be true and looks on oh, this looks too cheap there's something wrong here then what do you do do not click on it don't buy it La and the last tip tip number five 
shop at home, shop from the comfort of your home. So what I mean is, is well, I spe- okay, now in, in this lockdown period, people are home anyway. So really this is not of much of a concern. But again, since it's online shopping, if you're going to go to, let's say, a coffee shop, do not use a Wi-Fi. Okay, your home Wi-Fi probably is more secure if you're, or if you're using your own phone. Okay, so avoid using public Wi-Fi for to put to do your online shopping. Okay, avoid using and use your own products, use your own phone, use your own laptop. Why? Because of course I believe oh that you probably you you should have. I mentioned my previous podcast. You must have antivirus. Uh, up to date your 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 wi-fi must be secure if, if you don't have to do that go to my pre- go back to the previous podcast okay so at home you'd have changed the credential and you feel more confident than using a public wi-fi so this is, could be a public wi-fi and mostly coffee shops anywhere there's free wi-fi just really just wait till you get home uh, i know it doesn't apply now but we are not going to be in lockdown forever okay so those are the five uh, tips for this podcast there are so many but i didn't want to overwhelm you uh with so many just want to so let's start off with this as we're going into the new year um and as uh people are, are doing uh more and more shopping online i suppose there's not uh, you know and it's going to become a habit habit this is going to be the norm so of course i just want to highlight and uh, educate you or inform you about you know online safety well, thank you for listening to this podcast. If you have any comments, please leave them below. Or you can uh, follow us on, on Instagram. Our handle is CyberSecHappy. Or if you've got any suggestions for any future podcasts, please drop me a line. Until next time, stay safe and stay happy. Thank you.